Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars. We're at the National Barbecue Cup 2012. We got a lot coming at you, so get ready. Medical came out to hang out with the National Barbecue Cup teams. And folks, I tell you, it was really exciting to watch all these teams pull in. Big smokers, big teams, big hopes and big plans at the National Barbecue Cup 2012. Lang Barbecue Smokers, Deep South Smokers. National Barbecue Cup! Q and Stewing and Brewing, Southern Q Smokers were lined up four wide across the back. Uh, Georgia Boys, Tina Cannon with Pit Crew. Scott with Q and Stewing and Brewing. And uh, one other team were all down there on the back side, hanging together, going to make it tough. And then Backwoods Smokers had a line of teams, too, in there. Backwoods was well represented at the National Barbecue Cup. But on Friday night, Eaton was the name of the order. And uh, Deep South Smokers has come out with a Santa Maria grill now. Massive, nice-looking Santa Maria. And uh, Lang Barbecue Smokers uh, got into the chicken wing contest. And BK Barbecue was uh, laying it on heavy. I tell you, his stuff really looked good. Look at those wings, folks, at the National Barbecue Cup. Lang Barbecue Smokers cooking up a bunch of wings. But, you know, when we had a little downtime, we found out that our sign from Barbecue Superstars was there all the way from Philadelphia. And here it is. Hey, it's Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, and wow, wow, q -ow. where is Daryl? Daryl's done made it to the National Barbecue Cup. Folks, he's got signatures all over him. Absolutely. And uh, I want Pirate 50 to know that uh, it made it all across America and is down here at the National Barbecue Cup. And we got the, the man, the main man, who, who brought it to the final destination. And uh, what's your name, buddy? My name's Tom Barra with Philly Blind Pig Barbecue. Philly Blind Pig Barbecue, and where are you out of? Uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Okay, how did you come about, Daryl? Well, <laughs> it's, it made its way to our tent after a uh, competition in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, I think it was Little Luke's Barbecue had it. I don't know where they got it from, and <laughs> there he was. So uh, we took, took him hostage, took him home, and uh, just so you know, he made it through Sandy. So this made it through the hurricane. <laughs> Holy man, poor Daryl. You know, I can't complain too much because uh, he uh, uh, was in the pool. He was out fishing, he had a cigar. He had him a Jack Daniels in the hot tub. I mean. You gotta put him through a hurricane. <laughs> I mean, how's it get any better than that? <laughs> well, tomorrow at the awards, you know, we wanna present this to the National Barbecue Cup. That was really the whole reason that uh, we did this sign across America. And boy, what about this National Barbecue Cup? Wow, man, teams all over the place. It's electric, isn't it? This is great. Um, you know, being from Philadelphia, we kind of see the same teams all the time. And coming down here and meeting everybody, uh, it's been fantastic. Wow, man. Well, sign across America has met its home and destination. Thanks to these fellas right here. <laughs> and we'll be bringing you at the awards tomorrow. And Thanks a lot for helping him travel. Thanks for bringing my boy safely home. And we'll be showing you more tomorrow at the awards. Moving on. All right, folks, it's Friday night. Everybody's got their head down, got the cookers rolling. It's time to get serious. The people have slowed down, and people are inside their campers doing their work. BK Barbecue's getting his stuff lined up, choking in the smoke. Now it's, it's Saturday morning. All right, we're back. Now it's time for competition expertise. It's time to get it done. It's time to have some fun. Boy, I'll tell you, look at the smoke rolling over top of the National Barbecue Cup. And look at all those backwoods smokers lined up. There's the backwoods smoker team lined up about four or five strong on Saturday morning. That's when everybody's working their hardest and got their head down and getting that barbecue right. This year, folks, we've got Deep South Smokers on the front end. We've got Lang Barbecue Smokers in the middle. And we've got Southern Q Smokers in front of the stadium. We're going to watch these teams battle it out. There's three or four teams for each category of cookers. We're going to see who pulls it out at the end. Man, the only problem on Saturday morning was the wind. It got pretty windy out there. Look at them flags beating around. Looks like he's standing there holding, trying to keep it down. Didn't bother a lot of teams. If you got a great big trailer right there, 
takes a lot of wind to flush for them and looks like they're doing pretty good but the people in 10 by 10s uh had, had some problems and uh there's some backwood smokers over there on the side looks like they're doing pretty good in their big trailers but down on the other end where some of the other teams were it got pretty rough on them and watch as uh you see that wind coming across there bustling pretty hard four leaves to make you a nice little border. It don't matter if it hangs out the box, whatever, whatever you got to do. Spiced in there, put our butter in there. So there we go. Let's watch a few minutes as uh, BK Barbecue gets his competition chicken ready. Look at that beautiful red rub that he's putting on there. I tell you, uh, some of the stuff they do with uh, barbecue is just magic, folks. And uh, it's kind of nice to sit back and watch an expert doing his job. And I know a lot of the teams out there have their own process for putting their chicken together. And uh, we're at the National Barbecue Cup. And He's about ready to get his chicken prep together. Now, folks, he separated the skin from the chicken, and uh, he's going to wrap it up, lay it in the pan. He's already got seasoning in the pan. He's going to lay it down into, and uh, boy, I'll tell you, when that chicken comes out, it's just going to be beautifully done.
Now, folks, uh, whatever shape you put it in, when you put it in the pan, that's the shape it's going to come out when it comes out of the cooker, folks. And uh, that's how a lot of people get them beautiful pillow, pillow shapes is uh, they put them tight in there together and let one kind of shape the other by putting pressure against each other. Uh, these beautiful pillows, they're going to be some championship chicken when it comes out of the oven. You know, it appears that most of these pieces of chicken are the same size. And uh, getting consistent size in your box is really one of the uh, main things that you want to try to do while you're at a barbecue competition. And uh, BK Barbecue does a great job. There's a lot of teams who do a fantastic job of doing that. Well, look at this. A lot of hard work went into making that pan right there. and uh, Something nice to look at. It's about like a baker or a, a huge chef getting done with this masterpiece. And you know you got to put that final little coat of rub on there before you get ready to put it in that big Lang barbecue smokers. And man, I'll tell you, it's just a whole lot of fun being at the National Barbecue Cup this year, folks. And it looks like he's got one more pan that he's going to do. And then he'll be ready to lay back and let his chicken get cooked in the Lang barbecue smoker.
Lang 84. Lang smoking. I mean, you just roll it out there, deal with it. Push it back in there. He recovers the heat. Folks, now the heat is on. Lang Barbecue Smokers has got to get his box ready to turn in. Folks, we've seen him put them in the pan just a few minutes ago to put them down there in the Lang Smoker. But now it's going directly to the judge. Wow, is that box full? We ain't doing no designs today. We're just going to line it completely slam full and send it down to the National Barbecue Ship Cup Judges. Detail is everything. You gotta make sure that every little thing is taken care of before you take it down there for that final judgment. And I tell you, that's looking pretty good. Lang Barbecue Smokers is gonna have a pretty good entry today in Cummins, Georgia. You paid your money, you drove a long ways. You worked hard all night and all day. Now it's time to put it in where the money's at and let's see what happens. I tell you, there's nothing better than a big barbecue competition on the weekend to have a whole lot of fun. It's gonna put a little shine to it, a little apple juice. Man, you know that chicken's good. Lang Barbecue Smokers. BK Barbecue, Brad K. Headed down to the National Barbecue Cup judging. Choking in the smoke is putting their chicken box together too. Looking pretty good over that way. He didn't put it in the pan. He set it right on the grill. And it came out pretty sharp looking too. Didn't see that one coming. Hey, Daryl from Barbecue Superstars at the National Barbecue Cup 2012. And folks, it's Deep South versus Lang versus Southern Q Smoker. And we got one of the team leaders right here for Deep South Smoker. And what's your name, buddy? My name is Lester Jenkins with Big L Sweet Heat. Man, I uh, heard you bought the newest model of the Deep South Smoker. And tell us a little bit about what made you make the decision. Well, I, uh, you know, obviously there's a lot of good quality uh, smokers out uh, on the circuit today, but uh, and I had shot most all those smokers, uh, but once I got in front of uh, Mr. Bowman, Mr. Randall Bowman with Deep South, uh, just the personal touches we talked about, the things he's got, the grill is hardly beatable. I think. I think Team uh, Deep South is definitely gonna gonna take this show this weekend. Man, I tell you now, perfect temperature throughout the chamber, and it just seems like the seal on the cooker is just so strong, the moisture just stays in the meat. Absolutely no reason at all to have a water pan in this thing. It is, uh, like you said, you can see we got huge rope seals on this thing. Uh, they're adjustable. You can pull them down even tighter if you, if you need be. Uh, but uh, no need for a water pan in this unit. Well, now, folks, he didn't spare on the metal. You know, I think in some of the videos you've seen, half inch on the chute. You get that chute hot alone, it's going to hold the heat. The thing just, I mean, as far as temperature control because of the mass of steel, it's just a perfection, isn't it? Uh, it's unbelievable, really. I mean, uh, the technology, uh, you know, when you think about barbecue, you're not really thinking about technology, but wow. Uh, you know, it's uh, we came a long way, baby. You know, this is this is amazing, yeah. Well, field's laid out. I know you're going against Lang. I know you're going against Southern Q. I mean, what do you feel about your competition and, and how, you, how you gonna bring it this weekend? Well, you know, it's like I said, it's a, it is a competition and those guys obviously uh, are gonna think that they're the best and uh, hopefully we're gonna prove that we are the best. <laughs> you heard that right here. Well, tell, tell us a little bit about your sponsors now. I know you got some real good sponsors. Oh, absolutely. Here in, a, in Atlanta area, probably my, my predominant sponsor is gonna be uh, Parker Young Construction and uh, Firestar Restoration. I think probably one of the most, uh, you know, premier uh, guys in reconstruction business. They go out and do all kinds of great things and any kind of storm situation, fire situation, that kind of thing. Those are the guys that uh, that we look to and that's the guys we call on and they've been uh, just a terrific sponsor and uh, proud to wear their name. Wow, man. So, you know, if disaster happens like it just did in New York, Absolutely. Parker Young could come in and they could fix it. Absolutely. Well, they, they would be definitely part of the team up there working. Well, man, big weekend. 
2012 National Barbecue Cup, Deep South. Now, Randall Bowman organizes this contest. Uh, he's got his cookers out front, and he's in the he's in the front turn in when you walk in, and then uh, uh, he's going to go for the KCBS board. He's uh, he's just a hardworking man in bar barbecue. And could you say a few words about Randall? All uh, right, I mean, you know, if uh, you know any background at all in Randall, uh, probably just one of the most stand up, plain spoken. Uh, guys that you can meet. I mean, just a true, uh, you know, truly good individual guy, you know, uh, good attitude and uh, obviously with a great mind to build something like this. So what a great competition he's got here. He took all the problems out of the smoker. Well, uh, would you mind showing us around the Deep South for just a minute? No, not at all. Not at all. That's, uh, that's actually my pleasure. Um, that's the National Barbecue Cup. BK Barbecue's got to get his second turn in done that's his rib turn in and boy he's got some beautiful ribs sitting out here it's gonna be one heck of a box when it gets it done so let's watch just for a few minutes as bk barbecue gets his championship rib box ready One thing surprising about BK's box is the amount of ribs he's going to put in his box. He's going to have a total of 16 ribs in the box when it goes to turn in. All right, uh, just gonna take you through a few things here. Uh, one of my uh, uh, lead, I guess this is my sous chef of barbecue, Mr. Tony Cameron. Uh, Tony, if you don't mind, show them how, uh, pop one of these lads here. I uh, wanted to point out that this thing is truly a gravity fed unit. Uh, if you can take a look up here, you can see uh, we're gonna put lump charcoal down into this chamber here. Also, with it being a dual chamber, this is a true dual chamber, we have two of these. So one will come down, and if you can see this area back here, be right into the fire boxes here and then that can operate the top one. Got your firebox plates there. And then this one down here will go down and work the bottom unit. All the fire is blowing across. We will hook up our guru systems on this. Let the air puff through there on that. So, you know, everything is just super efficient. There again, you can see the heavy duty rope seals on this thing. There's absolutely nothing lightweight on this unit. Absolutely nothing. This is a true professional barbecue unit. Um, I'm going to open up like one of the doors here. You can see everything is sealed. Heavy duty latches, heavy duty seals, everything about it heavy duty. Um, at Big L Sweet Heat, we're trying to be the very best out here on the circuit. We believe this unit is going to give us an edge. You can see there's plenty of rooms for extra racks in here. You can do rib racks and I've got some of those in here. I've got the same thing on the top unit. The baffle system letting the smoke in comes in from the firebox back here, circles around and gives it absolutely perfect temperature throughout the chamber, which is hugely important as most barbecuers know when we come to this. I think actually that is the difference in most stick burners going into something of this caliber. Um, 
No stick burner, you raise the lid, you lose 10 degrees right then. And if you leave it up much longer, you know it's the old, if you're looking, you're not cooking deal then. So I would say this right here is absolutely top of the line, best of the unit. There again, I think Deep South is going to take this team championship this weekend. Top of the unit. Like I said, as you can see, two full units, two doors opening up 90 degrees for easy access. Just a lot of things thought out, small things that are that are thought out about this deal, even down to the drip hands being under the bottom, out of the way so you don't kick them around or have a nasty hose sticking out. I'm going to shut this door so you can get a better angle on it even. Actually hooked to the cooker too, so when the cooker rolls, the pan rolls. Pan rolls. And you can also, I mean, it's an easy slide out kind of situation. I like to use a good heavy pan. Um, and, you know, just little things make a big difference when you're doing this stuff. I mean, barbecue in itself, I think, should be left to actually fixing the meats for the competition. Shouldn't have to worry about your units. And with this deep south, you're not going to worry about the unit. Man. I'd say now, it's all on me, baby. Yeah, so... What do you got to say to Lang and Southern Q? Let's throw a little challenge out there. <laughs> oh, man. I'd say it's fourth and ten for those guys, and it's not looking good, baby. <laughs> it's on. It's on, baby. <laughs> if you want to buy a Deep South smoker, just go to deepsth.com. Deepsth.com and check it out. All right. It's time for round number three. BK Barbecue's getting ready to get his pork box ready. And uh, boy, I tell you, what a setup, what a getup. Bar Barbecue Superstars is so surprised by the way he's doing this box, but I tell you, it's got all the elements that you need in a pork box, and boy, does it look good. BK Barbecue. Lang Barbecue Smokers. Way to go, BK. Hey, Daryl from Barbecue Superstars, National Barbecue Cup 2012. Now, folks, we got Deep South on the end, but now we're down in the middle, and we got Lang Barbecue Smokers and Fraz. I know you just bought you an 84, and what what went into the decision of you make making a uh, buying an 84 uh, Lang? Well, I've just always, I mean, I'm a stick burner. I mean, I like I like sticks. I don't like pellets. I don't like charcoal feeders and nothing like that. I like a good stick burner. Lang makes a great. Uh, uh, great smoker. I mean, probably the best stick burner out there, in my opinion. I mean, they hold heat well. They they give a good clean cook. Uh, beautiful white smoke rolling off of it. You know, no uh, great cookers. Hold heat, 
you know they're they're not an insulated cooker, but they are. Uh, you can't you can't beat them. I mean I love them. I mean plus Ben's a great guy too. I mean you know he's he's a sweetheart. Uh, of course BK here, he's the one that kind of gotten turned on to him. Uh, met y'all here at this place last year and uh, took me a year to make a decision, but I went and bought me a Lang. You know now you had put together a smoker of your own that was sort of like a Lang. Uh, but the lang that you bought, it just holds the heat just a little better and the smoke uh, smoke uh, circulation is better. Yeah, yeah, it, it's got definitely got a little better flow to it or a lot better flow. Leaks, yeah, Wade, uh, our old smoker Wade, uh, you know, he just had some bad problems, you know. Doors didn't shut good. He'd been abused and baited. Uh, still cooked good, you know. We've had good finishes with him, but now we're looking to take ours to that next level now. I know you got a lot more confidence coming in this week and, you know, we're putting Deep South and Lang and Southern Q up against each other this week, and but you just feel like your game's been raised. You're ready to go this week. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, last year this was our really our second big event we'd ever went to, and we was kind of overwhelmed when we got here and seen 93 teams. But now we go to the, a lot of these. You know, we've went to several more throughout the year and really got uh, brought our game up. You know, I mean, we, we we know what what to do and where they're looking for and. You know, we finished in the top 50% last year, so, you know, we're expecting at least top 20% and, you know, want at least a top 10 call or two. Plan on getting that. Going to have that. Well, to have a big trophy sitting over here. One of them wood sculptures, they're pretty. I know there's a little family drama, too, this year for you and barbecue. Uh, the, the person that really taught you everything they knew, uh, 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 they passed away. Yeah. Uh, Wade, you heard me mention our smoker. We named, uh, me and Matt got together. We named this smoker Wade after my uncle. That had just passed away about two months before uh, we actually started cooking together. But I growed up doing whole hogs with Wade on, you know, center block pits. So uh, you can check us out at, uh, you can check that out on my, my Facebook page. Uh, you can text barbecue smoking to 90210. Carries you straight to choking in the smoke. Uh, but, you know, Wade was a, uh, he brought me up from seven, eight years old, you know, cooking. And whole hogs, I love doing whole hogs. I don't do it once a year. Now that I've got an 84, I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna do a you know 100 pound pig or so on it because uh, running to Brad on the way to vacation over in Edgefield and he was doing whole hog over us and liked the way that come out. So definitely gonna try it. But uh, Uncle Wade here, love him. You know can't beat him. Wear him around on on comp days and uh, always brings a little vibe to the barbecue world. Man, Fraz, now well traveled. You know, I was in Edgefield. I looked around. There was Fraz. I went to Jack. There was Fraz. Seems like every time I look around, uh, you're getting around Fraz, and I tell you, you're learning a lot. I mean, by next year or the year after, you're gonna be really chasing it, aren't you? Oh yeah, yeah. We we got a you know full schedule plan for next year. Uh, we're gonna try to do at least you know 15 events. I know it's stretching it. I mean, we're a we're a solo team. We don't have sponsors. I mean, we kind of self-sponsor ourselves on our cooks and stuff we'll do around home. And, uh, you know, barbecue is uh, its a sport just like everything else, you know. Takes a little funds to get, you know, to get there, but we're still showing up and doing it. All right. Well, I just got to inform you, Deep South laid down a huge challenge over there. Deep South said that they're going to come in first and they're going to run the show this weekend. And would you like to lay down a little something for De Deep South over there? Well, he's got Danny cooking, so it depends on what Danny's day's on. Uh, but Kogel, just remember to cater, honey. <laughs> I'm back here too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it right here, 2012. And by the way, we're not cooking on Wade like we was in the cater. We're cooking on a Lang smoker here at the Cumming Cup. Ooh, ooh. Uh, 2012 National Barbecue Cup. Danny Kugel, Fraz Frazan. And then down on the end, Scott, we're going to check with them. Fred, we appreciate it, setting Thanks, the stage. Bro. And we'll be looking for them calls tomorrow. And, uh, man, are you? It's going to be a good weekend. <laughs> you hope, hey, how about last night? How you feel? <laughs> I feel great. You know, I mean, it was a great night. We had a good meal early this morning with some friends. And uh, I have to say, Waffle House will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it right here, folks, at Daryl Barbecue Superstar. Moving on. National Barbecue Cup!
2012 National Barbecue Cup Reserve Grand Champion goes to Holy Smokes Barbecue. Holy Smokes, hell yeah. Wow, Gary Lynn. And this is the loving cup right here. Wow, Gary Lynn takes Reserve Grand. Wow. He won the Georgia Barbecue Association Team of the Year two years ago, or no, last year. And uh, he's come on with KCBS this year, and man, he has come a long way. Reserve Grand National Barbecue Cup. Gary and Dion Landon, man. Good job. Go ahead, man. No, right. Go ahead, mm -hmm. And now, the 2012 National Barbecue Cup Grand Champion, Munchin' Hogs at the Hilton. Guys, thank you again for coming. Look forward to seeing you next year. Your free to leave gates are open. Thank you again. Folks, wow, what a turn of events. Uh,